Hey guys, welcome back. I should be working on Let's Play for the other channel, but I really don't feel like being at work today. In fact, I spent a good hour or so kibitzing with some friends. I went and visited all my friends, and I was like, well, none of us felt like going to work today. Me don't feel like being here, because we're human beings, and it was a sucky day yesterday. And, of course, we were here, because, you know, life goes on. And I had a dream from Ogu... I, like, I totally broke down, and this is kind of hard to take if, or understand, rather, if you, you don't have Ogus as your family, but, um, you know, for the last decade or so, I, I've, like, been avoiding Voudon and Voudossants as much as possible, not, like, avoiding the spirits, but avoiding the online people because, um, so much of my family, so many of the spirits that love me and adopted me are thought much of. And, you know, uh, one thing that always makes me angry because, you know, I, I am, you know, Ogu walks with me, is the hypocrisy people have. Every time they want something from Ogu, they're nice to him, but when they don't need anything from him, they're bad-mouthing him, and that just makes me angry, and I lose my temper and start to rage. And I have Bellieno, so he's, like, really sweetly mildly tempered and I'm like raging he's like you sound like your uncle do you want to go live with your uncle no then calm down <laughs> because he's like one of the eldest in the family and he he's been there done that um spirit of iron spirit of metalworking um spirit of technology yes spirit of war but also spirit of peace spirit of medicine um doctors um you know, absolutely anything, they said, uh, depending on, like, what part of the uh, dispore you're working in. Poetry, music, anything. So, um, he has all these complex sides to him. And I just, I completely lost it last night, because you have to keep it together to be on camera, and then you can go fall apart after you've done your recording. And... He gave me a dream that, you know, it was very on the nose, so I'll edit it. But he has no idea what was wrong, and there's nothing wrong. It's just I can't say what he did. And he, he's, like, showing he's the one that has always nurtured me and been, I suppose, both father and mother. Is, is that fair? Okay, that's fair. And it, it was very on the nose. But it, it, it actually, it warmed my heart because, you know, it's done in this kind of grumbly fashion, like, mm, fine, I have to show you, I care about you, fine. And it's not like he isn't very loving. He is very loving, but it's like having this big, growly bear that loves you. It, it like, growls constantly, but you know it loves you. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, I know. And can he have a short temper? Yeah, at times, but only when stuff is very important. It's usually never directed at you. He'll be, you know, he can go off. Like, the whole squad comes around, so, like, you can't have an Ogu going off and be very, very mad and say stuff. And he says something to Tay, and I said, yeah, but... And he goes, I don't care, I'll, I'll dig the person up again. And <laughs> I'm like, you can't do that. <laughs> But, yeah, um, can the, t the family have a temper? Yeah, but it's when there's injustice, it's when innocent people are hurt. It's when you would want a hero to have a temper because he's one of the good guys. He's not this monster. Um, I believe he has negative aspects, the same reason Loki has negative aspects that a lot of times we don't want to take responsibility for our own failings. And... It's a lot easier to blame Oku, or blame Loki, or blame the devil, or blame whomever for all the bad we do. And let's not take responsibility for our actions, you know. Um, we now know more details, which is why I'm partially in a bad mood and don't feel like going to work. And, you know, it was another person who felt justified because of the bad things going on in their life that they were going to go take as many lives as possible. And this had to do with his um, family. And we all have a choice every day. I believe this is Ogu's point. Of what to do 
with ourselves. And Ogu especially, you know, if you have a huge amount of anger in you, he's actually he's actually a good one to work with because he can teach you to temper that anger. It's going to hurt. I will warn you, it hurts a lot to be, you know, his child, Omu, uh, have him walk with you, however you term it. It hurts a lot to have him work with you because he will just put you on the anvil and just start smacking you with the hammer, metaphorically. But it will hurt. It will hurt like a son of a gun, and you will be crying for him to stop, and he will keep going. Or he'll do, since mine is the doctor, he will operate without anesthetic, and it will hurt, and you will be screaming and wailing, and he will be cheerfully telling you arcane facts about the Civil War. <laughs> and do you want something to bite down on? And you'll be like, ah, ah, ah. But it, it's needed, and it can help you get a hold of that rage. And, you know... Ogu is at work in people when you see people using their anger to go to college, to get a degree, to get another job, to make a success of themselves, to start their own business, to go work with the poor because they are just so angry that nothing's being done, so they go out and they do it themselves. That is when you actually see Ogu in action. You see Ogu in action when people open up shelters, when they feed the hungry, when they take care of the homeless, when they open a shelter for abused women because he is not having any of that crap. Neither, neither are the barons. So if you're a woman and you're in trouble and you need protection, Baron and Ogu are very good to work with. Any of the ladies are very good to work with, but them especially. Um, you know, you see Ogu where you see positive action. You see Ogu where you see people protecting people that are defenseless, where you see people giving up their lives. Because, you know, they're protecting those that can't protect themselves. That's where you see Ogu. And, yeah, his children are really emotional. I'm happy, Zeely. Give me a break. And, um, you know, the Vodan Law, they have nothing but love for us. They're not here to make things worse. They're here to make things better. Um, sometimes they talk about us like we're very stupid little children or maybe even pets, but it's only from a place of love because they can't believe how stupid we can be. They can't believe how we can take all the gifts and everything we've been handed and use it to hurt other people. But, you know, they know, they know how we are. They know how we are, but still, you know, they, they want better for us. So even though I'm not in a mood to be at work, I'm at work because, you know, as, you know, one of Ogu's own, uh, I feel better when I'm doing something. I will probably gear up and fake happy on the other channel and do the Let's Play. But because, you know, I, I kind of feel like more like making peace now. I don't feel like playing any kind of game that has a gun in it or anything else. And I'm not going to be playing anything like that. I'm actually going to be playing Undertale and playing Pacifist Run. So if you know what the other channel is, that's what I'll be doing. And people... There's something in people that don't want to see that. They want to see you play ge Genocide Run. And it's like, no. We, we have enough violence in this world and this is part of the problem, too. It's like totally acceptable now. I'm not saying video games cause anything. I'm not saying violence in TV and that caused stuff. Normal people can handle it, but, you know, abnormal people don't need no how. So, I'm going to go play a nice peaceful game. And it probably won't help at all. And people probably won't realize it's why it's happening. But, um, I've just, you know, I've had enough of the violence for a while. And I, I need to go off and be peaceful and be chill. There's a story in, um, I believe it's from Santeria, about Ogo where, you know, he's, you know, he's working all the time, he's working all the time, and nobody's thanking him for his work. And his brother stops by and says, you know, nobody thanks you. And Ogo really doesn't do his work for thanks, but he realized nobody appreciates him. So he got mad, he closed down the forge, and he went off and he w refused to work because he'd had enough and he was hurt. And he's saying he's not hurt. But, you know, um, the point was everything, Ogu makes everything go. If it works, it's because Ogu is there. Uh, he works 24 7. He's the only Lua that never sleeps. And, you know, everybody in the family is like, oh my God, please sleep. And he's just like, more coffee. I'm fine. And, um,. The idea was, you know, we always have that 
potential and we should be kind to those that do things for us and um that you know that was ogu actually at his finest but he knew he had to take that break he had to get away because he kept giving his energy to the world and kept giving his gifts to the world and nobody was appreciating it so he was like fine i'm going off and i'm you know i'm gonna do my own thing so he whistled up his dogs and he went off and he had a lovely time and I've told him often that he should go do that again. He just smiles. Because, uh, you know, it's a story. It's a metaphor for us to think on. But um, it's we, we have to be careful with the gifts we're given. If we use them too much or we use them in the wrong way or whatever, you know, um, things aren't as they should be. So, um if I still feel like it, I'm going to go play the game and I'm going to play Pacifist Run. And I don't care if people don't like Pacifist Run. I think lately there's just way too much violence and I don't need to be adding to it. So I will see you guys later. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.